Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. Today we're getting ready to begin our fresh new six weeks. So we are starting with concept number one today, which is multiplying binomials. So today we're going to learn the method of FOIL. Have you ever heard of FOIL? And I'm not talking about um, the thing that you find in your kitchen to pack your lunches. It's not aluminum foil. Foil. Foil is an acronym. Okay? It stands for F is for first. O is for outer. I is for inner. And L is for last. Now make sure you have this in your notes. But let me show you what first, outer, inner, last means. Here, we have two binomials. And as you can tell, because of the parentheses, we're going to be multiplying them going to be multiplying them by using FOIL. Remember how I said it's first, outer, inner, last? That is literally the order that we're going to be multiplying our monomials by. Okay. F stands for first. We have 5x and 2x. So we're going to start off by multiplying these two. That, that will give us 10x squared. Okay? O stands for outer. Now we're talking about the numbers that are on the outside of the problems. So we have 5 and we have negative 1. So we're going to multiply. 5 times negative 1, which means that will give us negative 5x. Okay? Now, inner. We're going to multiply the two inner numbers of the problem. We have negative 3 and 2x. Okay? We're going to multiply that. That will give us a negative 6x. Okay? Then we're going to go ahead and take the last numbers in both problems. So negative 3 and negative 1. That is going to give us a positive 3. This is what it looks like after it's multiplied. Do we leave it like this? No, we don't. We're going to be combining like terms, okay? So, let's start with 10x squared. Do we have any other numbers that have an x? These two have an x. This one doesn't. So, there's no common factor there. But it's x squared. So, is this x squared? No. Is this x squared? No. So, therefore, it does not have any common factors. So now we have negative 5x and negative 6x. We're going to combine them because they both have a single x. Okay? So when we're combining them, we're going to sum them up because we have a negative and a negative. So, that means we add them. So we leave 10x squared as it is, then combining negative 5x and 6x, that gives us an 11x and plus 3. We bring down our 3. And this is our final answer. Let's go on into an example. 
Okay, very well. Now, I want you guys to go over and multiplying in these bio, binomials, sorry, um, these binomials using FOIL, first outer inner lattice. Okay, just follow the same steps I just followed. If you need to go back in the video and use it as reference, please go ahead and feel free to do so. Something I'm going to give you guys a tip on is make sure you pay attention to your symbols, positive and negative. When you're multiplying, please make sure you're looking at them. It's important. If you have any questions on it, please don't hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. Goodbye.